Hey everyone, David here. Um, we have a new project. I'm still stuck on on UCL campus. It's a bit difficult plotting the merging of UCL with Waikato campus. Um, it's taking some brain time. So I thought I would do something fun. This is the zoo, the Aram City Zoo, which has never been mentioned in the books, but my friend and I, my friend Errol, we had a joint project to do the zoo. Um, this is the entrance. Aram City Zoo, all welcome. Which means in the canon of the stories, if we ever mention the zoo, um, I, I don't think I have, and I don't know why I would, but who knows, if it's ever needed in the story in the prose, um, It'll be free entry, hence why the all welcome is a thing. Now, um, this is more of a menagerie than a, um, a zoo, because, uh, well, for example, goats don't follow. Goats are very goat. They do not do as they're told. But um, I've been slowly expanding it since Errol and I started it. Um, so I added pandas in and obviously a ridiculous amount of parrots um, <laughs> when they came in. This was before um, fish, so I also made a big area for fish. For some reason, the parrots like orbiting the horses. I don't know why, they just follow the horses, so that's a weird thing. Um, I have tried to contain the foxes, they do not agree, so there are random foxes everywhere. Same with some of the horses, this horse will not stay in its pen, it just will not. I have led it through the gate so many times it's not funny. I think it's a, a high jumper, so it just gets over the fence easy. Um, and the goats, well, goats are goats. The goats are meant to be in with the, the llamas. Um, unfortunately, llamas are also good at escaping as well. But... Can you see any goats? No. The little blighters have gotten out. And I also tried to get the foxes in there as well because they don't hunt anything else. But we have a ridiculous amount of bunnies everywhere. And most of them are called Kitty. I can't remember why, but I every time I made a new um, a new bunny, I named it Kitty because why not? It's funny. But the goats keep jumping over the fences, uh, so I just let them do what they want because that's what goats do. We have these are some of the this is one of the oldest sections of the zoo. Um, we made an enclosure for the wolves and polar bears. He used a... Oh, right. He also hid bunches of uh, creeper heads. And every time I see a creeper head, I go, ah! And then I think, wait, it's on, like, peaceful? There can't be any creepers. But we made a, a, a cave with a fire for the um, for the bears, because why not? But it's a decent sized um, area for the bears and the wolves, and it looks like a lot of the goats. <laughs> um, I also made a rainbow a rainbow sheep farm. It has pigs and cows in there as well because why not? But I, I just, at the time, needed to make a rainbow, a flock of rainbow sheep, because it's rainbow sheep. It might have been soon after you could make sheep rainbow. Um, <laughs> uh, there is actually a bunny enclosure. I don't know how many of these are named Kitty. Probably not many. Oh, a kitty. But the little blighters, despite being four blocks, uh, three blocks tall, 
get out. So there's random bunnies all over the place. Um, so, as I said, this is quite a less of a, a, a zoo like organized and everyone's in their places and more like it's sort of a, a sanctuary for animals that are fun to put into places. I also put some um, villages in mostly to, to just deal with the, the crops as a sort of a, a visual way. This is how I feed the um, the animals, but they don't obey either. They're, they're really bad at obeying as well. Uh, it looks like a pussycat. Ah, it is a pussycat. With his head in... Come on. Oh. Obviously Errol tamed it, because I can't do anything with it. Um, I'm also going to be at one point doing some kind of zooish things in the nether, which is why there's a portal. Um, there's nothing out there, but it's okay. So this is basically, I, I wanted to make it like Kelly Talton's, although probably this is probably smaller. I actually haven't been in Kelly Talton's, so I don't. Kelly Talton's is a um, an aquarium in Auckland, for those that don't know, and you, you go inside and the, the water is around you. So you go in a tunnel. I'm just pushing these in the water because because they should be swimming. Um, so you go into a tunnel and there's the ocean everywhere. Um, so I made a huge tank. Although it's actually more fun from above water than underwater. I think I have to change the colour of the glass actually. But I made little areas with the um, coral and and added every fish I could. Every time I, I, I add a, a dolphin, they despawn, even when I label them, so I have no idea. So there's no, no long-term dolphins. But there's a ridiculous amount of fish. And way too much. Um, I also periodically. That is loud. So you can see some of the, the fish, but you can't really see it uh, underwater. Gosh, that's loud. I don't know if it's loud for you, but it's loud for me. So, this is a big... Oh, I forgot the... This is oxalotl. Uh, oxalot. Uh, oxalot. I've got oxalotl on the brain. Ocelot. That was the word. Close. They're all called Kitty. And I tried to have a wild house cat type area in here with them. Only they would not stay place. So, um, we have a cat house in here as well. Even though it's very loud. The ocelots kept despawning, so I had to start labeling them. And most of them seem to have stayed. We also have a mushroom. Mm -hmm area with a bunch of bats and most of the bats for kitties. Oh, or squishy. And that, that was that was me and um, Errol having fun. Um, I think that's his horse actually. Priscilla, yeah. That's his horse. Oh, I forgot how noisy it is. Back to the subject. A 10 minute intro of rambling. This is my zoo. It is fun. It may expand because it's surrounded in blank spaces. Um, depends on what. If I get an idea for a, a, another big animal display area, I always kind of wanted to improve the, the ocelot space, then we, I'll expand out the side. 
but for today, I have been cheating, sort of. Uh, I can't use codes on this level unless I go into a LAN, a LAN game. And so I've been going into LAN game, going into spectator mode and finding oxalotls, because I love oxalotls. So today's, or this episode, is to make a new oxalotl uh, I don't know, exhibit? Is that the word? Place for the oxalotls to live. I will have to label them, or they'll despawn. But I've got at least three colours, which is really cool. I've never actually seen the fabled, um, the fabled one, the, the rarest one. I think it's blue. I can't remember. Um, I haven't decided whether to sort of cut off a section here. Like put those pandas over there and have it here or extend it from here like sideways into the um the horse place because the horse place is just it's only horses because it fills up the space um we could also expand this way at least to chop off i guess although a lot of horses to move um but the thing with the oxalotl oxalotls is they they need dark spaces so i'm going to be using the the new uh glass the tinted glass which means it doesn't need any light out or in um so i have to figure out a way of making it so that we can look at them without upsetting them I suppose once they're trained, they, they don't despawn. Once they're labelled, they don't despawn. But I want to make a like a um, it's a place called here called um, Otorohonga, and it's got a kiwi house. And the kiwi bird, not kiwi as in fruit, the kiwi bird is nocturnal. So they have this um, sort of walk through where you you look through the glass, and the glass is basically one way. So you can see the the kiwis rushing about making loud noises being adorable and they don't see you and they get to live in the night they get to be asleep in our daytime in our nighttime so um i was thinking something like that like you could walk through and see it and if i add glow squids it'll also be kind of interesting to see to look at and maybe the lichen as well so i'm thinking i've got quite a few um oxalotls quite a few and there's more in here um so i thought maybe i could expand this side of the walking track and go this way into the oxalotl oxalotl exhibit And take the space up or do it on the other side or have a different track altogether so one must add to one zoo if one can even though i want to go through and find all those damn goats oh my gosh <laughs> those goats they just keep jumping over the gates anyway less complaining more plotting so the plan is to do it as an extension of this uh, fish tank either this way or that way or even maybe underneath the, the bridge I don't know just sort of go with it and see what happens Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to say, but the hope is to have an oxalotl exhibit, hopefully in a way that the, the goats can't get in. 
all the foxes, which are really good at getting into other places. Anyway, cue the music. what it is and that bat has been bird dogging me the whole time cutting all of this out took about three hours um, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the space um, but I thought 
because this pattern here is quite nice. I like the um, the V shape. It's kind of pretty. I thought just to add some symmetry, we could put the so you can go down here and through this one, through the main aquarium, and then you can also go down here and maybe go this way and go up this slope as a sort of symmetry. Um, I want to put the glow squids, I want to put like two, uh, two tanks into mingled. Have like, I don't know, if we do it sort of, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Right, so if we make the pathway like this, or something, and the steps will go up there. I kind of want two tanks, um, because if you put the glow, um, the glow squids in with the oxalotls, the oxalotls will eat them. So I thought of maybe two tanks. Not entirely sure how to apply it. Um, maybe like either have a tank in the middle with the glow uh, glow squids. Or uh, a tank on the back, so like half the distance. So this side's glow glow squids, or this and this side's oxalotls. I'm gonna have to name all of the oxalotls. I don't. I have to find out whether you can uh, label a glow squid. I'm not sure. Um, so it's either sort of two tanks side by side with more room for the oxalotls or like I thought maybe columns of glow squids because they don't need as much room as the oxalotls three so like have tanks in the corner um, and maybe more areas to walk like maybe straight through here as well as up the side. And then I gotta figure out whether I wanna do um like I put steps and then coral on the steps. Not actual steps, but you know, one block at a time. Zigzag. For them. But I'm not sure. It's a lot of space for what is it, a dozen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about a dozen. Um, I was also wanting to put in a mechanism where visitors can feed them because they eat lots of different things. Um, I actually did it with the wolves. You have uh, a dispenser and you press it and a bunny goes down and then the wolves go. So you can just go do do. Oh, you can't really spam it. If you want to spam it, there's a chest here. But you also have to have a surface to... And then the wolves go scary and evil! Whoa! I love doing that occasionally. I don't know if that makes me evil or not, but it's fun. Um, I don't know if the oxalotls are really quick. Um... But uh, another sort of dispenser, I don't even know if dispensers work in water, I'll have to have, have a play with it. Um, so I thought maybe if they come in and this wall has the dispenser in it so that the oxalotls can be in front, like in front of the glass so you can see them. I'm using the tinted glass because um, both of them, both the Glow squids and the oxalotls prefer it in the dark. Um, and there is a little chance, I'll have to actually do some research, um, that if it's dark, maybe more will sort of just spawn. 
I would hate to have to, you know, spawn in, you know, like a hundred glow squids and have to label each of them. They shall all be called Stinky, by the way. Or Kitty, or whatever other name I can randomly think of that's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, the space is a lot bigger than I expected. It's it's probably half half as big as that one, maybe? Yeah. So it's another, nearly another third bigger. But, um, Oxalotls are awesome, and I've kind of become a little bit obsessed with them. Um, but, yeah. We'll have a go. I'll, I'll just, this will probably be for the next episode. I'll have a go and see if one thing works. Um, and then if it doesn't, try something else. We'll have a go. So for now, until the next episode, Aranitaza.